let us look at our next topic material determination now material determination is also known as material substitution so if someone is talking about material substitution that means is same thing like material determination so let's look at it what material determination is for example you're creating a sales document a sales document can be a sales order a quotation or maybe a scheduling agreement or contract so within the sales document for example if the user enters a material code just say material code is 4711 then system will automatically replace this material with another material and instead of 4711 system will be picking up the material within the sales document as m1 in this case so that's called material determination now this can be automatic this can be manual that i will going to talk in a minute so let's talk about what is material determination and the benefits and under what scenarios this can be used material determination provides you with a tool for automatically exchanging materials in the sales document now this is basically most of the time it's is used for the automatic determination but we still have an option for manual that i will show you in a minute a typical use for this feature are obsolete materials for example when a customer orders an obsolete material the system will replace that material with the newer version this function can also be used during a promotional period for example during the christmas time for one month we want to replace this material with a special material or with a this material with packaging on it or anything like that in that case we can create this substitution substitution or the determination only for a period of one month or two months and system will be automatically replacing the original material with the substituted material the system shows the system the system now continues processing with the substitute material for example in the availability check pricing um delivery and billing so once the system has substituted the material with the new material system will be processing all the standard function for example availability check creating the schedule line checking for price checking and doing the delivery and billing so it will be done for the new material that is substituted and the original material will be ignored in this case in the sales order i item overview for sales a tab contains the information about the material that was originally entered as well as the reason for substitution now what that means is once in the sales document you have replaced the material just say automatic replace the material so you can go to the item level sales a tab and look at what was the original material under and the substituted material so that means system will keep an history system will keep the history for what was entered and what was determined now we'll talk about types of material substitution now this can be done manually for example manual product selection so that means even we can in the substitution we can have more than one material for example we say we want to replace material a with material b plus the other alternative can be c and d that means we replacing material a by b c d now in the manual selection system will show you a pop up where it will say that okay a is not replaced with b c and d we need to pick up which one we need to pick up out of the b c d and the user will be able to manually select the one out of the b c d other option is automatic so automatic just is saying automatic it will not show you any pop up depending on the availability and the sequence system will be picking up the the material if there is maintained if, if you have maintained more than one substitute substituted material and now the transaction code if you want to create the master data for substitution the transaction code is vb11 to create vb12 to change and also there is a Uh, fury application for it that i'm going to show you now so first let let's look at the system <clears throat> so here you can directly enter vb11 or you can go by the menu path go to logistics 
go to sales and distribution and master data products and material determination and here you can see VB11 so when I double click on it now in the material determination it's same like pricing like we have learned before here you need to select a condition type now in the standard S4 HANA system there is only one condition type available that's called Y001 material under so let me select that and press enter here system is asking me for example material entered and mater what's the material entered and what's the substituted material here for example I can say uh, I can say just say laptop I can say laptop say laptop 13 just a model number I want to replace by laptop 1 for example press enter so that means when someone will enter laptop 13 this will be replaced with this laptop 1 you can also double click on it if I double click on it you can also maintain the validity for example I can say by default it will pick up today's date up to the up to 9999 you can also manually enter here some validity period for example I can say up to the Christmas time for example like that so it's only valid for this time period here you can also enter the unit of measure sometimes the unit of measure can be different but in this case it's same each each and MRP indicator MRP indicator means this product the replaced product will be relevant to MRP material requirement planning which is a part of MM module I can go back also you can here enter the proposed reason if I select a proposed reason for example you do you want the manual selection or this is the automatic selection now this selection is basically this one is manual because that's how it's customized as manual I'll show you the customizing in the next video but for now you can see this is the manual one and that's the automatic one you can either create it at the header level which is here or you can scroll right and here you can also maintain the same thing at item levels so here for example I can say manual selection other thing is that for example let me double click on this line again here you can en enter more than one material for example I can say the next material can be it can be replaced by not only this laptop but laptop one there can be another laptop two, laptop three like that so you can create all those entries here and they will be available during the manual selection but for now I'll just enter one for now and let me go back so here you can it is think that is let me I need to enter something here because thinking that I need to enter something so let me enter something first and then I'll remove it done okay so here now you can notice laptop 13 we have entered replaced by laptop 1 so let me save it and you can see condition record saved if there's a message now I will create the sales order if I open VA01 order num order type or standard or order and here I will enter my sold to party that I created before John Smith company and I'll say test enter some customer reference number now here I'll enter the material code laptop 13 and here I'll say quantity is 1 press enter so here now what's happening is system determined the new material laptop one but what's saying is laptop one is not maintained for this sales area so let me continue it's doing the availability check for the replaced material keep pressing enter now because I've entered two materials over there you can see it's asking me which one you want to select select because if I open that screen again VB12 if I double click on it here you can see I entered two codes here I just entered same code here so that's why system is showing me the list of all codes is saying which one you want to select so there can be laptop 1, laptop 2, laptop 3 so I can select one of them because we have selected the manual processing so if I select that I can click on OK and now there's an error here that material laptop one is not 
uh, created for this sales organization that means the material could should the material should be created for this sales org as well so what i will do i will quickly go to mm01 and i will i will extend laptop one to this sales area i'll copy from the other material laptop 13 so that it can quickly copy all the data so keep pressing enter Just trying to save the new code done let me close it start again i need to open the va01 screen again and here i will enter laptop 13 is replaced by it will automatically replace so let me enter quantity one press enter So now it's showing me pop up that out of the list that we have maintained which one we want to select i can say i want to select this one and i can say continue and press enter it's doing availability check so continue done so here you can see now i have entered laptop one now it's showing up laptop sorry i have entered laptop 13 showing up laptop one here now also as i said it will keep the history for example if i double click on it anytime somebody can come and to this screen and see what was the original material entered so here you can see material entered is laptop 13 so anyone can see what is the material entered also you can see the substitution reason so this reason is here is c005 is c005 because we have created the manual selection if you create the automatic selection it will not show you the pop-up screen so let me show you that as well again so let me go back to VB12 screen. Now this is this manual selection or the automatic selection is based upon the customizing, which we'll learn in the next video. So here, if I scroll right, here you can see C005 was the reason entered. I will change it to automatic one, which is a second one, Y002, save it. Now open VA01, enter, same, same customer and here now I enter again laptop 13 and I'll enter the quantity as 1 and now you will notice it will not show me any pop-up, it will automatically replace it, see there's no pop-up here and it automatically replaced that so here if i double click on it again you can see the original material that was entered was laptop 13 and the substitution reason is copied from the that master data setting that we have entered which is y002 which is the automatic replacement uh, so that's how you can maintain the data in gui and create the order also you can maintain the master data using the fury application now if I go to the system here if I search for Fury application material determination press enter so here you can see it's still refreshing here you can notice that we it's showing up for we, we need to look at the material determination application only so there are four applications so these are the main ones chain material determination create material determination now these applications are basically the html version of the gui transaction so what that means is if i click on it for example create one you will notice that this is the same gui screen but you're accessing the gui transaction from the from the web browser so i'll select that like that so you will say press enter so we'll see same screen so it's not really app application is the interface between the gui application and the fury application so you can maintain via this one 
or you can maintain via the GUI transaction as well. So same setting is there in the in the EC system, exactly same functionality. So hope that that is clear. So in the next video, we'll talk about the customizing part of the material determination. So that's all about this. Thank you very much to watch this.